Hi, and welcome to the ABC Vascular Ultrasound Case Studies, a large aneurysm of the internal carotid artery. This is a case of a 62 year old female patient who presented with ongoing pulsatile mass on the left side of the neck for the past 10 years. Recent onset of pain on the left side of the neck, exacerbated with movements, was reported. Patient that no cardiovascular history, no family history for aneurysm pathology or recent trauma. Patient was a smoker and hypertensive in treatment. The ultrasound was requested. Starting in B mode transverse view, we can note that the common carotid artery is of normal appearance with an echoic lumen, adhesion to the jugular vein as an anatomical landmark. As the transducer is moved upwards, the carotid bifurcation can be seen. However, beyond the bifurcation, it's difficult to distinguish the internal and the external carotid artery as a large anechoic area is present where the operator would expect the internal carotid artery. We need to determine what's the nature of this anechoic region. We can note here better the normal caliber of the internal carotid artery adhesion to this large anechoic region. By moving the transducer back down towards the bifurcation and towards the base of the neck, we can observe again this adhesant anechoic region to the internal carotid artery. The transducer is then moved in longitudinal view to obtain a different view of this anechoic region and we can note that the common carotid artery is normal and this anechoic region lies just where the carotid bifurcation would be expected. We can note that this area is anechoic, therefore we suggest the presence of fluid and at this end we can see the internal carotid artery. The internal carotid artery appears to open to this anechoic region. By applying color flow Doppler we can then determine whether flow is contained within this region. We can see that indeed there is color flow which appears to come from the internal carotid artery due to the presence of a jet where the internal carotid artery is present. This would highly be suggestive of a pseudo aneurysm of the internal carotid artery. As we can see flow is going from the internal carotid artery into this anechoic region. By measuring the size of this anechoic region, we can see that the maximum diameter is 2.5 cm. A CT angiogram was requested and this confirmed the presence of an enlargement of the internal carotid artery, which the ultrasound operator considered to be a pseudo aneurysm. However, the presence of extensive calcifications throughout this area suggested that this is actually an aneurysm. If you want to find out more about carotid arteries, aneurysm and the role of ultrasound, please refer to the article written by ABC Vascular author. Thank you for joining ABC Vascular Ultrasound.